Hi guys, this is uh, Proximo again. I'm going to cover um, the context section and the search, custom search section in this particular video. Um, the reason I don't really cover the main section is because it's pretty self-explanatory and it doesn't really change much according to um, your setup. And the due date section is also pretty self-explanatory. So uh, I will dive into the context and search at this time. I would like to point out that I just realized that my I have a um, a plugin on Firefox that actually has a countdown for my ability to go to AT&T and actually get my iPhone, and I was pointing to it, but I cut my video just short of the bo the border of the of the uh, Firefox browser. So disregard that in my last video. So that's a disclaimer, so you guys won't think I'm going crazy on you. Uh, context. Real cool thing about this setup. Regardless of how I have my current filter set up, which is personal. As soon as I click into the context section, I see all the areas of my life. If I'm in my personal section, the cool thing about this setup is that it splits the actions in their own section. You can see the next actions. It splits the projects. Again, the Grease Monkey script shows the subtask. The projects fall into their own section, and you can clearly see what the next uh, action is on any particular project. My waiting for section, which I don't really have anything there. I was just an example. Someday, maybe, and tickler. So this is like a a, uh, um, a a bigger view of everything in my personal life versus when I'm in the folder section, I'm looking at it in a more condensed fashion, like only actions, only projects, and so so on and so forth. The context gives you a more broader view. If we go to my my website uh, here, things that I'm working on, um, I got a couple actions. Uh, project for a programming journey that I'm going through and some things that I like to be able to accomplish. So again, the contexts are really great in this particular setup because you get to see everything in one view. So let's go back here and look at actions. If I'm, uh, if I'm working in a particular context, what I do is to not see all of these things that don't matter to me, I create a custom search and it's called next actions for work and next actions other you can create one called next actions personal uh, or whatever um, what I did on this one is I decided to show the next actions related to personal my website and my business all in one section because I don't have as many next actions in those three areas as I would work um, so as you can see here you can tell by the context how it's showing all of them in one view if I look at my next actions work it's only strictly work related but regardless of that what this custom search does for me it allows me to only see the next actions and it captures any next action that happens to be a subtask inside of a project so I never have to worry about when I'm focusing on what I need to do I, I can see all of my next actions and anything that is a next action related to a project so this is actually the view that I print and carry around with me or the one that I refer to during the day while I'm getting things done because again I don't want to see all of the other tasks that I didn't deem important enough for me to focus on during this week during my weekly review or my I call them mini reviews throughout the week uh, as I knock some of these next actions off I, m I go to the other view and decide which ones will get started next but I always go back to this custom search so that I can focus on what needs to get done um, how does this search look? This particular one simply says show only start items in these two particular folders, actions and projects, and based on these three contexts. The other search just has work context. And that custom search there allows me to get this view, and then you just give it a name and save it, which I have saved both of these here. Um, I also have a custom uh, search for anything I've completed in the last 30 days I use that for reporting purposes so again with with this custom searches which is one of the most powerful uh, things of Thule do in my opinion is how I stay focused on what needs to be done context is more of a broader bigger perspective on any particular area of my life um, so I can see everything under one long list and again the standard folder view uh, based on my current context filter uh, we'll filter things out based on the separate GTD section. So I hope this video was a little helpful understanding on kind of my flow on how I use GTD uh, and how I use context versus searches. And uh, I'm glad to share it with you guys. Enjoy it.